Physical change. Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates from learnfordafford.com. Normally, substances have properties such as shape, size, color, and state. These are called physical properties. When there is change in these physical properties, the change is called a physical change. For example, if we beat a metal, it changes its shape. Filling air in balloon causes increase in its size. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. However, releasing air from balloon causes reduction in its size. We often mix color ingredients to make color juices. By heating a substance, that is by increasing the temperature of the substance, it is possible to change its state from solid to liquid or liquid to gas. Similarly, by cooling, the state can be changed from gas to liquid or liquid to solid. During the change, no new substance is formed. We mix salt and water. However, the properties of salt and water remains intact in the solution. In other words, the chemical composition of salt and water remains same. It does not change. By the term chemical composition means elements such as sodium, chlorine, hydrogen, oxygen, etc. and their amount in basic structure of the substance. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. If chemical composition is not changing, then this indicates that new substance is not formed and thus confirms a physical change. Physical changes are generally reversible and the change is reversed by reversing the conditions. This means that after the change, it is possible to regain the shape, size, color or state of the substance by undoing the applied conditions. Chemical change Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates from learnfordafford.com Have you ever observed a clean shiny iron metal turns brownish after some days. We call it rusting of iron. Here there is change in color that is physical property of iron. So is it a physical change? No, it is a chemical change. The reason is that in addition to change in physical properties, we can also observe a change in chemical composition. That is, iron is turned into iron oxide. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Here, iron lost its identity and got a new identity, that is, iron oxide. It is clearly a new substance. A change in which new substances are formed is called a chemical change. A chemical change is called chemical reaction. The ingredients which interact to bring about the chemical change are reactants. The new substance formed after chemical change is the product of the reaction. Take another example for understanding it more clearly. If you want to perform this activity, take help of your teacher. Please don't do it yourself. Take some water in a beaker, dissolve tablespoon of copper sulfate in it and add few drops of dilute sulfuric acid to it. 
it will form a blue colored solution it is copper sulfate solution now take a polished iron nail and put it inside the beaker gradually the blue color of the solution changes to green it is because iron is more reactive than copper it removes the copper from copper sulfate and sit at its place we can say iron displaces copper from copper sulfate watch ad free and complete syllabus on learn fatafat android app download the app now by doing so copper which is in compound form becomes free while free iron gets attached to sulfate and forms a compound clearly there is change in chemical composition where there is change in chemical composition there is chemical reaction how can we identify if the change is chemical or physical we can identify a chemical change with some observations here are those during a chemical reaction one or more new substances or products are formed watch ad free and complete syllabus on learn fatafat android app download the app now they have different composition as well as different properties as compared to composition and properties of reactants in addition to change in composition a chemical change may also involve change in temperature color odor formation of bubbles or formation of solid material that is precipitate the change so happened is permanent and cannot be reversed thus the chemical change is irreversible change corrosion of metals subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates from learnfordafer.com corrosion the gradual destruction of metal due to the effect of its surrounding environment is called corrosion due to corrosion properties of metal degrades the familiar example of corrosion is iron you might have seen the brown color appeared on things made of iron this is due to corrosion watch ad free and complete syllabus on learn fatafat android app download the app now rusting of iron iron reacts with moist air and forms brown easily breakable coating on the surface called rust and the process of formation of rust is called rusting corrosion of copper copper metal reacts with moist carbon dioxide and air and loses its shine and forms green coating of copper carbonate on its surface corrosion of silver when silver articles exposed to air for long time then it reacts with hydrogen sulfide present in air and forms black coating of silver sulfide corrosion of aluminum aluminum reacts with atmospheric oxygen and forms a thin layer of aluminum oxide this layer prevents further corrosion prevention of corrosion corrosion can be prevented if the contact between metal and the air is cut off for example coating metals with paint oil grease or varnish prevents the corrosion temporarily watch ad free and complete syllabus on learn fatafat android app download the app now
Similarly, other methods are Galvanizing The process of forming a thin coating of zinc on iron or steel is called galvanizing. For example, shiny iron nails, pins, etc. Since zinc is more reactive than iron, hence it get corroded, preventing corrosion of iron. Tinning The process of giving a tin coating to other metal is called tinning. Cooking vessels which are made of copper and brass are given a coating of tin to prevent corrosion. Electroplating Electroplating is a method in which coating is formed on other metal by using electrolysis. For example, silver plated spoons gold plated jewelry etc anodizing in this method metals such as copper and aluminium are coated with thin strong layer of their oxide this oxide layer prevents further oxidation of the metal Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Alloying An alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two or more metals or metal and non metal in specific proportion. Alloy did not corrode easily. During formation of alloy if one metal is taken as mercury, then the alloy is called amalgam. For example, brass is made of copper and zinc. Bronze is made of copper and tin. Stainless steel is made of iron, nickel, chromium and carbon. Crystallization Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates from learnfordafford.com. Suppose we go on adding table salt and water. The salt can dissolve in water up to a point, after which more salt cannot be dissolved. We say that solution is saturated. In such case, if we boil water, then it is possible to dissolve more salt. After mixing some salt, we stop heating and allows water to cool. You would see solid particles appearing in the solution. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. These solids are crystals of salt. These are very small and difficult to observe. However, it is possible to form a bigger crystal by proper method of solidification of matter. The solidification of matter forming a definite geometric shape is called crystallization. Can you tell me whether crystallization is chemical change or physical change? Here. There is no change in chemical composition. Therefore, this change is physical change. The substances which are formed by crystallization are crystalline substances. Examples are table salt, sugar, copper sulfate, diamond, etc. They have fixed geometry. Because of regular arrangement of constituents, there are other kind of solids in which there is no regular arrangement of constituents and so they does not give fixed geometry. These are called amorphous substances. Examples are plastic, glass and rubber. There are other differences between the two as follows. 
If we cut crystalline substance, then it forms plain smooth surface. However, there is no smooth cut in amorphous substance. And so, surfaces are not smooth. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Crystalline substances melt at fixed temperature. However, amorphous substance doesn't melt at same temperature. Separation of material using crystallization. Many times we obtain substance in impure form. That is, it contains impurity of other unwanted substance. If the substance have ability to dissolve in water, then we use crystallization for separating it from the impurity. Let's understand the steps of separation with this activity. Take some water in beaker and add few drops of sulfuric acid to it. Now, boil the water and when it starts boiling, go on dissolving small quantity of copper sulfate powder in it. For proper dissolution, stir the water continuously. At some point, you will get saturated solution of copper sulfate and water. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Now filter the solution with the help of filter paper. The impurity remain on filter paper and get separated from copper sulfate solution. Now keep the filtered solution undisturbed for a day. As the solution cools down, crystals of copper sulfate get formed. These are free from impurities. Here we complete this topic. For more such videos, visit learnfatafat.com. Visit learnfatafat.com for more such interesting videos. You can now download Learn Fatafat Android app. For better learning, you can also buy your favorite course in the form of DVD, pen drive, SD card or tablet phone. Like, share and subscribe learnfatafat.com and press the bell icon to never miss an updates from learnfatafat.com.